Okay, listen up. Y'all got to help me out on this one. I need some feedback because this is absolutely crazy to me. And, um, you know, I saw this video. I came across this video on the Internet. I commented on it and it just blew up like crazy. All right. I'm talking about one hundred and two thousand uh, likes, you know, almost two thousand response people were highly upset and so i want to play this clip and i want us to watch it and i just i need some feedback i got to hear what y'all think about this so let's take a look It's just it's sad right when you look at it and so I'm thinking like everybody clearly is gonna understand you know what this girl is clearly got some serious issues you know what I'm saying that's not normal uh, behavior even if there was some kind of you know issue some kind of disagreement you should have some kind of level of self-control in a public place especially an airport of all places I don't think an airport is the place you want to be acting crazy and so you know what, I commented because when I clicked on the comments, it was absolutely bonkers. Like, all the comments were saying things like, well, what did he do? Uh, I bet he's gaslighting her. And, you know, trying to insinuate that, you know, this guy just must have did something to deserve this behavior. Instead of just saying, you know what, this girl is, is crazy. Like, this girl, this, this behavior is unacceptable. And so, as you can see here, I commented, I said, many women in the comments saying, I wonder what he did, or he's probably gaslighting her. But if the roles were reversed, nobody would be asking, what did she do to get him so upset? They would be saying he's abusive and she needs to leave. If you just flip the roles, and this is what I love about the Bible, do unto others as you would have them uh, do unto you, right? If we simply just flip the roles in the video, nobody is asking what did she do to deserve this nobody is asking uh what did she do to be getting yelled at like that nobody maybe maybe oh maybe uh she cheated on him maybe she hit him before they got in the airport maybe she did nobody's thinking that they're saying girl you need to leave him he's abusive but it's like with a man it's like oh no just take it right he he must have did something bad it must be his fault and it just i'm gonna be real with you man when i look at what's on the internet it just does not seem like women like accountability. I'm going to just be honest. Like, you know, so many different posts, so many different videos. There's always excuses for, you know, for example, in a marriage, if the woman cheats, well, he must have did something, right? If she steps out with another man, he must have not been doing something. Uh, you know, he, he must have not been romancing her or giving her time. Something caused her to step out and cheat. If the man cheats, he's a dog, he's a this, he's a that. And it's not, hey, man, what was she not doing that caused him to feel like he needed to go out and cheat? And um, even, even I've seen cases with domestic violence, like guys who are getting abused, guys who are, you know, their girlfriends or their wives are like physically abusing them verbally as well, putting their hands on them, leaving marks. You know, well, what did he do to deserve it? And it's like, yo, women can just be crazy. Women can just not be mature enough to regulate their emotions. There are some women who just act like children and throw tantrums. Now, now if we want to get to the root of what that is, right? Uh, and I, I said this in the comment. I said, you know, some women act like this because of unhealed trauma, all right? And, you know, past relationships, daddy issues, you know what I'm saying? And they never get that healing. And then it's what they like to call a safe target. They get with a guy who's like chill and all the dudes before that abused them, that broke their heart, that let them down. Now they become the abuser and, and, and they don't want to, a lot of times they don't want to acknowledge it. There's a lot of relationships and marriages that are destroyed because of that. Crazy enough. I believe it's over 70% of divorces are initiated by women. Some of that, I'm pretty sure they could do a case study on it is because of women coming in there with old baggage that they never dealt with, that they never confronted, that they never healed from. 
in the dating in the dating stage it's easy you know what i'm saying and and listen we're talking about this particular video i know people are going to want to make this about what a man does and what a man, we talk about that stuff all the time why can't we have a conversation like this where it's like look let's just talk about women who are toxic let's just talk about women who are verbally abusive let's just talk about women who have that jezebel controlling manipulative spirit there's nothing wrong with that we can we can have a topic topic uh and a discussion about you know the dysfunction and the fact that some women do need to heal without bringing up some kind of deflection about what a man is doing or what a man uh doesn't do you know god made man and woman different anyway so sometimes we just have to have that separate conversation. So I'm very curious to see what you guys think about this particular video, because I thought it would just be uh, unanimous. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody knows like this girl is crazy, but apparently not so. You know, people are trying to justify it. So let me know what you think in the comments.